Hello everyone, David from goldstartool.com and I'm excited because, I mean, actually console people should be very excited. I told them, but they don't hear me, they've got to put me on a payroll. I do a lot of console uh, uh, videos, and, but they're very nice people and they take care of me and they take care of their merchandise and their sewing machine. So we have three different type of um, po very popular sewing machine right here. And people call me, post bed, walking food, roller food. It happened that I have all three of these are going out today. Um, you see the Juki logo back there. Uh, it, we sell Juki too. But anyway, um, I'm gonna, I thought I'm gonna show you guys what is the difference between all these machines that we have. To the left hand side, and people call me because they always, they don't know, do they need the 228R or do they need the 227R or do they need the 289R, but I'm gonna go over this. So to the left hand side here, this is a post bed. We call this a post bed, the 228R. It's on a roller and it has a knee lifter that will raise the foot. Now, if you take a look, I'm gonna if you could come closer to me. The top is a roller foot. The bottom is a feed dog. The reason it's a roller foot is because when I put this down here, and I'm gonna do it nicely, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna bring it down, okay? And I start sewing, right? Let me just do one. When I start sewing, come on, baby, let's go. The belt is, oh, look at that, the belt is not tight. Okay, this is one of our floor sample ones. I just was gonna show you guys. When I sew, this machine could go, this roller foot could, uh, it's like free, uh, uh, free motion. So you could go left, you could go right, it's on a post bed, it's a post bed right here. There is nothing here, you could, you know, you could have a bunch of stuff here. Again, it has a knee lifter, it has a reverse, and it goes all the way to four. And I'm gonna, before our video finish, I'm gonna make sure to tie that, uh, uh, what should we call it, the motor down there. And I'm gonna do it right now, oh my God, yes. Now, to the right hand side, it's the same thing, it's a post bed, but it's a walking foot, right? I'm gonna go from behind you so nobody will bother anybody. It's the same thing, it's on, right? It has a knee lifter, but it's walking foot, three pel feet walking foot, but it's a post bed. Now, this one we don't have any problem, it's so, and I'm gonna show you. So, it's for stuff that you need to put in here. Let's say you wanna do a cab but it's not for a patch, it's not free motion. It's gonna, you have to know where you're going exactly. You know, it's a walking put triple feet. Triple feet again means it's um, uh, needle feet, walking feet, the foot, and the feet are walking. And then on this one, you have a, the maximum uh, capacity, uh, I, I call them U bobbin, the big bobbins, okay? Made by console, this one is 289RB-2. We already made a video, there is a reverse. And on this one, you have two uh, buttons right here. All the way right is a safety clutch, meaning that if you're sewing and for some reason it gets stuck because of sewing heavy stuff, the machine is not gonna go out of timing. You just press this and you move this and then it comes out of uh, the clutch, gears in and then works. Number two, you have another one to the left-hand side. As you see here, you don't have a, uh, a stitch length. Every machine has. This one, this is the stitch length. You press this, and if you go here, you see all these numbers, five, four, um, 24, 20, these are all the length. And then you press, and then where you want it to stop, you stop and it will give you that stitch length. Right now, I think we have it on the maximum because the customer wanted the maximum, it's going up. So it's a big one, knee lift, 
you know, it's a post bed sewing machine. The oil goes here in the head. There is um, the gauge and all that. So that's another one. So this is a post bed. That's a post bed. That's a roller foot. This is a walking foot. Then we're gonna come to this one. This is a walking foot, but it's a cylinder bed. Instead of post, it's a cylinder. So people that wanna do a lot of uh, uh, bag. Woo. And they need cylinder bed. They want imagine you have a sleeve. You want to do go inside. This one does it too, but it's not a post. Uh, again, smaller machine, 227R-2, no oil needed, only drop oil where you need to. And um, uh, what else I want to say? It's a walking foot, it's a triple feet. And while you're showing that, let me just adjust. And maybe you show why, how do we adjust? If you could come down here on the motor, and I'm gonna, see? This is the motor, okay? And this motor needs to be uh, adjusted. For some reason, somebody took this out, and when people call us and tell us that the belt is small, or the belt is too short, or the belt is too long, this is what you need to do. All you need to do is you take this, and put it here. Now, I don't know where is the other knot for here, but all you do is like this. You put this here, and then you pull it up, you put it back here. All right, am I in? I don't think so. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tie this for now, just to show you. But usually, I mean, not usually, all the time, there is one up here too, all right? I mean, there is one here and one there, and this one, you could go up. Or go down. So now, somebody didn't do their job here, and probably took, <laughs> but I want you guys to see how easy it is to adjust it. So I'm gonna open this up one more time. And you see, this one now, the belt is very tight, okay? All you have to do is adjust this one, and then I'm gonna put this back in here. It seems that, okay? And when you guys put it, put it down there, that's it. You put it here and you close it. Now, you get the idea? Are you gonna give me that? You are being very nice today. And always you are, thank you. I'm gonna make sure, I wanna show you guys when you're home, how to adjust this. Come on, baby. Let's go down. Okay, that's it. So there's going to be one up here and one down, down here. So right now you see this belt is very loose, okay? So we're gonna change the belt obviously because it's very loose, but if you want a smaller belt, imagine this comes up and this one is gonna be uh, smaller, tighter. But when you do that, this goes up and down, this also has to be up and down, meaning adjusted. Right now it's not turning because the belt is pretty much out. So, but that was something that I wanted to show you how to adjust the motor. A 228R11 console post bed used for a patch on the cap, on the shoes, whatever you need. It just, it's a wheel top, or roller top, bottom is the feed dog, you could just move around with it, go left, right, no problem. Right here is 227R-2, walking foot cylinder bed, and you could go to our uh, YouTube channel and see the details about this. 
And on the right, 289RB-2 post bed, but watching foot. This is the different guide, how to decide which sewing. All three machines are made by console, great sewing machines, and we are, hey, we're in downtown LA. Look at all the sewing machines that I have here. And these are for coming in and picking whatever you want. Just come in, hi David, and I give a nice discount because you want to pick him up. My name is David from goldstartool.com. I want to thank you for watching my videos. Please like, thumbs up, share, and have a golden day. Thank you.